Hi, welcome. Grandma Honey here, and I have another story for you. This one's called Salt Hands, and it's written by Jane Chelsea Aragon, and it's illustrated by Ted Rand. All right, let's get started. In the night, I woke up. And I heard something outside, like a rustle or a breath. And there was a deer under the pear tree, and the moon cast a shadow of his antlers on the ground. I went to the door. It was dark. It was still, and the night air was warm. I didn't want to frighten the deer, so quietly I went in and sprinkled some salt into my hands. I tiptoed outside and stepped toward him silently. He looked at me. His eyes were big and brown and he watched me for a long time. I knelt on the grass and the deer flicked his white tail back and forth. I sang a song to him softly while he nibbled on fallen pears. He shook his head and twitched his ears and was listening to my song. And then he moved closer to me cautiously and I whispered my song. And then slowly I held out my hands. My heart beat quickly as I sat still in the grass and as still as the night. I didn't want him to run away. There was not a sound as he came near me. He came very close. And as I looked up at him, I could see into his eyes. They were gentle, and I knew that he was not afraid. Oh, is he a beauty. He lowered his head calmly and sniffed my hands. And then he tasted the salt. And for a moment, I held my breath. I didn't move. His whiskers tickled my fingers, but I kept my palms still. He licked my hands until the salt was all gone. And when he was finished, he raised his head and turned away slowly and walked off into the night. And that's our story for today, Salt Hands. Bye-bye for now. Be blessed.